Hi there, I'm Flippard Bates. Um, I've been, I was fooling around with microphones because some people have said there's been issues with hearing and the sound and, and I can see how that's annoying. I apologize. I'm, again, this is, I'm Mr. Low Tech. I tried using a microphone. I did, I did a couple of recordings recently trying to, this experiment this morning to see if I can fix these problems, but no, um, it didn't work. The microphone I put in to do the mic here ended up uh, 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 causing a problem with sound completely. And then um, uh, um, I kind of up the, I kind of modified it by going into the settings and Windows settings and making the volume a little louder on the, uh, the, uh, the input. So I hope this kind of fixed the problem for now. Today, we're continuing the question of what we call prudence in the print section of the prints, looking at chapter 22. Um, and the thematic theme is uh, of those uh, whom princes have as secretaries. In other words, who, do, who should the prince look for as advisors kind of question. Um, and this is really, this is basically has a short uh, a short chapter with three paragraphs in the Italian. Um, and it's not a long chapter. It deals with certain questions of who should the prince be kind of looking at as kind of people that they turn to. So let's go look at this. He starts, of little, of no little importance. So this is importance, right? The opposite of the negatives, right? Of no little importance to a prince is the choice of the minister. And these are not good. They, okay, sorry, sorry. So the minister is, is, is it's, it's that there's no little choice. So their choice of ministers are important, right? And these are good or not according to the prudence of the prince. So therefore, the choice of minister is the decision of the prince. And that the choice of choosing a minister is good or not good, depending on the prudence of the prince. Again, th this is the theme of, I think, this is this is why I look at this ch these chapters as focusing on the prudence of the prince, right? I think the Alvarez is right about this point. The first conjecture one can make of the brain of the ruler comes from looking at the men he has around him. And when they are competent and faithful, one can always repute him to be wise because he has known how to recognize them as sufficient and to keep them faithful. So, okay, this is the big problem. In other words, the people, uh, uh, uh. how do you know people, the, the reputation, right? We have this idea that we know, we, 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 how do we know that the prince is wise? Well, we would know him by the, the nature of his counsel, right? That's, the, that's what he's saying here. The, uh, the, the first conjecture of the brain of the ruler is looking at who he has around them. If he's surrounded by idiots, he must be an idiot. If he's surrounded by, in other words, this is the danger of councils. Now, why would you pick an idiot? Now, the question is, why would a why would a leader pick someone who is not necessarily suitable to be an advisor, but they pick him as advisor as well? That would suggest the lack of prudence of the prince, or the lack of his brain, right? So, therefore, we we don't know that this is a knowing, not directly, but an indirect knowing. Again, this is the question of, uh, this is why the importance, how much of image, image and opinion plays in the scope of the political in that sense. Um, and, 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 that he's, and the other thing is that if he has these very smart people, he's, and that they're still loyal to him, well, that's, that shows that he has recognized the sufficient, he has, must have intelligence, he must have, uh, he is known to uh, how to recognize them as sufficient, right? And, and also an ability to keep them faithful. But when they are otherwise, they can always come to an unfavorable judgment of him. For the first error he makes, he makes in this choice. So therefore, in other words, so the first error he makes, in other words, the unfavorable perception of people of him, is the choice of secretaries. Who, who's, who are going to be the people, your ministers, who are going to be advising you? And they're going to be executing your secretaries in terms of not only in terms of advising you, but also executing your policy. Okay. If you have, if you have unwise or incompetent people around you, this is going to make you look bad. 
if you have competent people around you, uh, uh, intelligent, wise, and competent people around you, you're going to look good. Okay. So therefore, this is the uh, aspect of this. And this is the choice of these people is the first error, right? The error is that he makes the choice of choosing the wrong type of people. There was no one who knew the minister, uh, Monsieur Antonio di uh, uh, Venafrino, as minister of uh, Pandolfo Puccelli, Prince of Siena, who did not judge Pandolfo uh, to be a, a, an exceedingly worthy man for having him as his minister. So in other words, this minister was so highly regarded that the, it, it, it ended up looking good on Pandifico. It must be a wise man that he picked such a wise person, right? So that's the first paragraph, the conception of the, the, the benefit, the blame and the praise and the blame by picking a person who's, uh, uh, who has a, a good capacity, who has clearly um, a, a worthy minister, right? A worthy uh, advisor, worthy person. Now, he goes here. Okay, this is that moment. This is the this is the cool point. He goes, and because there's three kinds of brains, one understands on its own, the other discerns that which he, the others understand, and the third neither understands on its own or through others. So three brains. One is the one three times of minds. One who understands on its own, one dis discerns that which others understand, and that they can learn. In other words, they 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 understand what other people explain to them. Right? They discern what others understand, and third, that neither understands on its own. The first is most excellent. The second is excellent. The third is useless. It must it must needs be by necessity, therefore, that if Pan, Pandolfo was not of the first rank, he was of the second, because, colon, because whenever one has the judgment to know the good or evil that someone does and says, Though he is without invention, invention here, invention is not an archaic sense of the capacity to discover things for themselves. Right? Invention himself, by invention here is the older archaic word he says, the Albert, so without the ability to discern from oneself, he will know the minister's bad or good works. He will extol the latter and correct the former. The minister cannot hope to deceive him and thus keeps himself good. So the, the, the second criteria is the criteria not to judge, not necessarily to judge the works, the good or bad works of the minister. In other words, we have to have enough knowledge, not necessarily knowledge of the subject in question, but the effect of what is done, right? That's this. It's, that's the difference between the knowledge, having knowledge of the first and knowledge of the second. But you, the knowledge about the second, about the effects, about the works, right? This is, you have to understand that. So therefore, if you don't have the first understanding, if you don't, if you aren't able to discern by yourself the good and bad, ugh, you are the third kind. Okay, so therefore that you need uh, at some level the ability to not in a, you know to, to not understand something at least the question of the if, un, to perceive the, the 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 positive or negative the good or bad of uh, works of one's uh, uh, officials or ministers what is being done in, in your name okay and this is and if you're not able to perceive or judge or assess that. And, and you can't rely on the other person to, to do that for you because how do you know who's to pick? You have to be able to pick the judge. You have to have the ability to know the character of men. Okay. That involves the first criteria. So the second criteria, without some level of, um, without some level to know, to discern, 
becomes just as so, so the three end up they becoming the, the ones who know and able to discern now to a degree right to some degree you can't in other words i can't know the technical stuff i won't be able to know all the technical stuff so i'm going to hire somebody who knows that but i must know enough about the character of the people that they're cap they're competent of that material that oh, but, you know i mean you can't just rely on reputation you have to rely on some level of knowledge and a some level of assessment okay so again that's why this is the this is a weird double play here in that play, this discussion he offers forth hope there is kind of an off this the the, it, the middle position is kind of a f deceptive situation oh I, I can just rely on someone else no 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 Remember what he said about war. Friends should do everything he wants. He should do his mind. So the discussion of uh, 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 what the prince, how the prince should deal with militia, right? All the way back in the the second part, you know, uh, 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 you know, what is that? Twelve. Was it twelve, thirteen? Yeah, uh, 14, 14, chapter 14, the conclusion of the arms and mans. Um, we are we are frustrated in this sense. We are we have to understand that, that what he's doing here is kind of like, oh, you, you can have a middle position. That may be the test. No, you can't. That the, even the middle position, you must have knowledge. You must have the first mind at some level of it. So let's continue the third and last paragraph. But so that the prince might be able to know the minister. Uh, uh, there is this mode which never fails. So, okay, he gives, he gives a skill to know the minister, a mode that never fails. When you see the minister thinking more of himself than to you, you know, of course, here the second person familiar is you, so that was intimate you, the intimate you, right? Um, but, but he's talking to the uh, 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 prince, the reader, as to a equal. And he seeks in all his action his own interests. One is so fashioned never uh, makes a good minister. So if, he, if he, you look at him and he cares more about his interest or yours, and he, and he seeks in all his actions his own interests, he thinks of himself more than you, he, he, he then, in his action, seeks his interests, his own interests. This person is never a good minister. You're n n never will you be able to trust him. For he who has the state of one in hand ought never to think about himself, but only about the prince, and should never re remember a thing which does not appertain to him. Now, What's interesting here would be the application. In other words, this is danger. Once, you, in other words, if you have my state, the state in hand, you should be thinking of the people who are your friends, who are your rulers, not you. This is kind of you know, this is is a con. This is that, that there's a dupe. This, uh, in other words, if you start thinking about your own interest, your own benefit, the state will be harmed. The, the, either the prince or the being harmed, or the body politic, the republic, the regime will be harmed. See, this is the danger of self-interested political actors here. Now, of course, in the body politics, there's going to be self-interested political actors always. We can't deny interest. But the ministers, the ministers must be served loyal, and their interests must be the same as the interest of the regime. If they're not, then they, you, you, uh, uh, if their interests are contrary or or, or, or outside of the thing and they will start sap they will look at they'll care for more of their interests than the political order right and or the prince in other words and, and he's as he ends it like he says uh, he should ought never he who thinks of uh, 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 that he who has this state of one in hand ought never to think about himself but only about the prince and he should never remember a thing which does not appertain to him the prince or the, 
the, the, the, the sovereign or the ruling body. And on the other side, the prince, in order to keep him good, ought to think about the minister, honoring him, making him rich, obligating him to himself, sharing with him honors and burdens. So you, you, in other words, this, and, and this is the problem. And this is why this is very much the way royal princely rule works. Princely rule by its character tends to, the prince needs to reward people uh, uh, with honor, with money, wealth. In other words, honoring him, making him rich, obligating to himself, but, you know, making him dependent on that sense, sharing with him the honors and burdens. Okay, that is the concept. Republican rule is more problematic because then that, you know, this is, Republican rule does not have this heavy wealth disposal. Um, it's maybe more stingy in that regard. So this is a, 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 a distinction, I think, that Machiavelli will highlight in the difference between the Republican rule and princely rule, right? But so that he, he continues this point here at the semicolon, so that he might see that he is not able to stand without the prince and that his many honors not make him desire more honors, his many riches not make him desire more riches, his burdens make him fear changes. In other words, you need to make it that his burdens, so don't want more burdens. You don't want to, you know, you put, you put burdens on him so that he doesn't want more burdens. You put riches, but he, he fears that if you, you know, he doesn't want more riches because the danger of here is that he might lose all his riches. In other words, he's comfortable where he is. He's not going to be, he's not going to want more. Uh, and likewise, honors. And he's not. He's gonna, his honors are not. Uh, uh, he's not a person whose ambition is uh, so high that the honor. You know, you look at the question of this, so that you that, that that he doesn't. He fears changes. That this person is not going to seek change. If then ministers and princes, upon this point, concerning ministers. Um, uh, 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 this is a weird thing that on this point, the mode which never fails, that the prince should look for the sign of disloyalty, which he ought to be intelligent enough to discern, even if the minister is someone who knows how to deceive, right? Chapter eight, uh, eight, eight, 18, uh, 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 18. And at the same time, honor, enrich, and obligate the minister in such a way as to persuade him to be not to be disloyal right so you, you're encouraging him to discern ones who are not look for disloyalties and know who can be this who can who are really loyal and who's not to just weed out the deceivers or discern the deceivers and then in, in, uh, 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 at the same time honor rich and obligate the minister that that makes you know difficult to dissuade him from uh and it'll persuade him not to be disloyal, right? So this is upon this upon this point concerning ministers. Uh, this this again this mode that never fails uh, are so disposed to one another, so that ministers and princes are so disposed to one another, they can have confidence in one another. But when it is otherwise, the end is always harmful for the one or the other. In other words. If there's no trust, then it's either going to be harmful for the prince or harmful for the minister. Right? That's, that's how he ends it. Well, we stop this with, here in this question here. Please put your comments or questions about this short chapter there about secretaries, advisors, and the way advisors are, are addressed and the dangers of advisors and the way that, and also, and also about, it talks about advisors, but also it talks about the mind, the type of mind, discerning ability. Of the, that the ruler must have in the question of the three brains, right? And that even the, uh, not only the, uh, 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 this, this, is, this discerns not only to advisors' brains, but as he, he makes it sound like he's talking about the advisors, but no, he's talking about the prince here again. And, and remember, he talks about the prudence of the prince in the first paragraph. So therefore, the focus of having the kind of brain implies the, to the kind of prudence that the prince has. So please put your comments or uh, uh, questions there. Um, interaction does help the channel and uh, uh, the, YouTube, the, the YouTube algorithm. Um, if you like the like, like the video, hit the like button. It helps. 
I'm sorry about the fans and the nonsense, but that we have to have it because otherwise the poor computer crashes the heat. And um, uh, I have, you know, that I, I don't, I'm not the best tech guy in the world. So we had some problems with the computer a couple of days ago, which, which required heat and, you know, new ventilations and because uh, uh, the clock was, you know, the computer so it was too hot. So I hope you guys uh, 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 hit the like button. Uh, uh, if you hit the like button, this helps to share the video uh, uh, algorithms. Of course, you can say no, but um, please say why in the comments so people can learn and benefit from this. Um, if you have it substantively or if it's negative, this is all like the video quality. I uh, okay, understand. But uh, engagement is engagement. Okay, that's the, always the big thing about this. Now, the next thing is that um, those of you who like the video, you sh bring it to other people's attention. You can share it, share it on your social media, share it far and wide, share it on email. Sh again, share it far and wide. Why? Because to get people's attention to the ch channel. Um, if you've not subscribed yourself, please, please consider subscribing. You get notifications and stuff like that. Of future videos um you can already or, you know anyone gets access to the existing video that we've done in the past um, you can check out this the earlier uh, videos of this uh, if you're just coming on the uh, coming on us now um you can go check out the previous uh, videos on this uh, on this series or you can go check out them uh earlier series on the prince or uh the Schmidt series, the, the, the different Schmidt series we've done, the uh, Montesquieu, Rousseau, Hobbes, not Hobbes, Locke, we did, but we uh, did Aristotle and some Plato and Thucydides and Sun Tzu. So go check out the videos there and check out them out. Um, if you've not, um, um, if you want to follow me in social media, the social media links are below. Twitter, honestly, is the best bet. I should rearrange things. So Twitter is probably the best bet. Um, another thing you can do is you could, if you want to know more about me as a researcher and a scholar, you can check out the social academic social media links that are below uh, the um, below the uh, uh, social media links. And the last but not least is um, if you want to help the channel out some and you know, want to help what we do here, you can do so financially through Subscribestar, Patreon. Uh, you can be a patron or a sister, a sister by Subscribestar. Um, this is a way we can, you know, you can you can help. It's every little bit helps in our time. Uh, and I'm going to have to probably change computer soon because the computer's dying. <laughs> um, and other things. Well, who knows? Another thing is, um, uh, 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 you want to. Another way you can help is by buying one of my books. My three existing books that are listed there are available there, existing and available books. You can order them either by your local bookstore, you ask them to order it, maybe they'll order a few. If not, then order it directly uh, by an online distributor uh, like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Alibris, you know, etc. Um, or through the publishers themselves. With that, we turn now to the next chapter. Uh, uh, chapter 23, uh, Flatterers. And then we'll uh, uh, see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.